Hello, welcome back. This is a bit of a different video today, as you're probably going to see from the title. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. Tell me what else you want me to drink. But to basically, <laughs> want me to drink, places to go, things, other things we do. But basically, today, I went out and tried to film something different, which didn't really work out. I tried to film like a POV of uh, in my car, like set it up, but the camera just shook too much, couldn't focus. So probably an actual dash cam for that. But I happen to go to Sainsbury's because normally I get all this alcohol stuff from Amazon or Tesco or sometimes straight from the brewers themselves for the, some of the box sets and things like that. But basically, I've got I'm going to show you the haul I've got for the next month or two of reviews coming up. You can look forward to on the channel. Uh, first one is Krabby's rhubarb ginger beer. I'll call it ginger beer, four percent. I've tried the ras. I thought it was the raspberry one, and then I saw rhubarb. I don't think I've tried that. I've tried rhubarb cider before, but I love Krabby's. So that, uh, I'm looking forward to drinking that because <laughs> I like rhubarb as well. So that's going to be good. Um, this one I've seen about and um, for some reason it reminds me of the Red Bull cars in F1, that design. But it's Honeycomb Chocolate Stout Vocation. I've not done Vocation in a while. They're usually quite high percentage, just 7%. I don't know if that's going to focus very well. The lighting's not very good in here today. It's quite dark outside already, but that is Vocation Special Edition Honeycomb Chocolate Stout. Just what it is. It doesn't have a special name like a Banana Barrel did. I might put it further back here so you can see them all. Next, I almost didn't pick this up, but I thought since I'm there, I don't usually go to Sainsbury's. This is the thing. You should go to Sainsbury's as all the supermarkets because they do different versions or different flavors or editions of the beers. Anyway, I've not tried any Ridgeside before, but this is Thicket. Bramble Sour, 4.5%. I quite like sours, even though they're not really beers, are they? They're more into um, Alka-Pop territory, but Thicket, I'm looking forward to trying that. I've not tried a Ridgeside before. That is, um, and it's old, well, they're all old school, I guess, but proper old school where you can tell it's just a label put on a silver can, so it's got that kind of um, indie feeling to it. So there's Thicket there. I'll put these in front. Next, we've got a Brewdog one. Now, I've seen, I haven't seen this before, but I've seen the chocolate brand, Tony's. They sell it in Tesco, but I got this from Sainsbury's, as I say. Hopper, Hopper, Hopper Lonely, white chocolate and raspberry milkshake IPA. So I'm looking forward to trying that one. Didn't know it existed. Very, very happy to see that there. Um, I didn't plan on getting, I had a quick look, because I was there, but I didn't know that they were gonna have all these different ones. <laughs> Here's one I've not seen before either. Brewdog Nitro Jet Black Heart Vanilla Oatmeal Milk Stout. That stood out to me. Because you used to seeing these certain... With Brewdog, for example, dive into the dark abyss. With Brewdog, Vacation, Buxton, the main indie ones that you see, you see the same ones. And um, I didn't see that in Tesco when I go to Tesco. So seeing that in Sainsbury's, I had to pick that up. Brewed in Ohio. So I'm looking forward to that one as well. Here we go. This one I'm going to wait and taste it with Stacy, my wife. This is Nougat, a friend in me. Chocolate and Nougat pastry stout, 6.6%. And uh, as you can see, it's a knockoff of, it's a play on words of Toy Story, but also if you look at the can, you've got like Rex there. That's obviously Rex. Um, you've got obviously like the Buzz Lightyear wings there. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Um, what brewery is this? Brew York. And I've seen some of their stuff before because they do it in a style where they normally play on something enough that they're not breaking copyright and normally have a play on words with the name. Like they had uh, some WWE ones and there's Scott, Scotty Too Hoppy and uh, Thundertaker and things like that, but I never got to try those. But that's they just have a little strip there. The rest of the can is just open to pictures, and it's quite cool. It's got the army men and other things like that. I'm looking forward to trying that one. But as I say, because my wife likes stout, I try and save some of the stouts to try with her in a video. Um, you won't be able to see that from there, but a new girlfriend and me. And um, the last can I've got, as I say, if you've seen this channel, I'm not usually a fan of Beaver Town, but I thought since it's dry January, I didn't know they did an alcohol-free one. Laser Crush by Beaver Town. It is a non alcohol or alcohol free IPA. So that should be quite interesting. As I say, I love the artwork on their cans. I just don't. Having said that, 
I will review the Beaver Town again probably about six months' time in the summer. Oh, not completely alcohol free. 0.3%. Usually most alcohol free ones, they stick to about 0.5 or proper alcohol free ones are 0.05. But I'm looking forward to trying that. As I say, in about six months time in the summer, I'm gonna retry some of the Beaver Town chilled because I, I had them at room temperature and I know it wasn't really fair on me to bash them as much as I did in the reviews. But this is an alcohol free one I didn't know they did. Also, the Sainsbury's did all the Beaver Town range in single cans, most of them multi-packs. I was really surprised at that, so I might have to go back to St. Peter at some point. I've not checked out Asda or Morrison's because they might do the same thing. What I've also got, Sainsbury still had, Tesco haven't, Sainsbury still had some, uh, like a lot of box packs. I don't know if they have all the box sets and things like that, and gift packs and gift boxes. I don't know if they have it all year round, but I thought this was worth trying. Hotel Chocolat Premium Liqueur Collection. So me and Stacey will be reviewing that at some point in the next month or two. But what really also um, made me want to try it, because salted caramel we've got in there, and we've got the chocolate cream liqueur, but the third one is mint chocolate cream liqueur. And anyone who knows me, I don't know if I've said it on the channel, I used to love the mint chocolate Baileys, and then they stopped doing it many years ago. So that's hopefully going to taste something like it. And since I'm here, I'll let you in, and since I've got the microphone working, because this microphone decides it doesn't want to work sometimes, got this from Tesco, it was reduced to £4.50 um, a pack, I don't know if that's the normal price, and again, you know, the wife's going to go mental that I've got another glass, but it had two different types of Guinness to the normal one, and I thought, uh, Stacey loves Guinness, so we can review that together. So I'm looking forward to that. But wait! There's more. There is more to this story, my friend. Since we want to get on the hype train, and uh, you can almost not see me now, this is like having Easter egg boxes dotted all over the place, which will be like in a few months. There are two more I picked up at Tesco. I wasn't planning on it, but they're a juice section, which is kind of, if they're out of date, although these are in date, it says 15th of October on it, or if they've fallen out of a multi-pack or something. This is £1.80 a can, apparently. But it's down to one seventeen. It was reduced. It's not been opened. Vocation, Life and Death, which is a classic IPA, one of that classic range in the black cans, and I wanted to try it, so I'm gonna be trying that in the next few months. And I also picked this up, which I also assume is in date, but I can't tell on here. But it looks like it might have been bashed about a bit, or it might have had something spilt on the label, but I'm not gonna lick the outside of the bottle, am I? This is Fuller's London Pride Outstanding Amber Ale, and I thought, it's down from one pound seventy to one pound and two pence. So let's give that a try. So, you know, trying to fit everything in best I can. Hey, down in front. Trying to get you to see everything here and basically everything I'm gonna be trying over the next few months whether it's me reviewing it on my own or Stacey reviewing it with me so I appreciate you watching if you like the video like it comment below what else I should try where you can get a hold of it what videos you've enjoyed like them and subscribe and tell other people about them and then we all get the discussion going about beer in the comment section but thank you for watching I'll see you soon tell me what you're drinking tell me what you're enjoying enjoy life and this has been me telling you what's going on in the next few months drink wise hopefully we've got some trip uh, videos coming up soon when we get out and about more now that it's getting uh, past Christmas and all that and uh, hopefully some other new content but we'll see I'll see you in the review because I am gone